so as i said this idea of inevitability is also linked to this idea of what professor ishtiaq ahmed hinted at that there is no such thing that is a point of no return and it's interesting that in the historical writings on partition that there is an attempt to identify such a point what i also call the ifs of history partition was not inevitable but it was definitely made possible by the very strong determined effort of mohammed ali jinnah and the muslim league so jinnah used all those arguments to justify the division of india using religion using caste using the fact that the money lender happened to be a hindu i mean all these things were done deliberately and the result is the partition now Jinnah should not be made the villain of huh? Jinnah was acting out of whatever were the historical compulsions and he made a demand he came up with a theory which suited his politics because partition is the reality it cannot be undone what is important now and into the future is can we undo the negative effects of partition and a geography such as india it needs a very towering leader to unify it and take it together and the last such leader who had a chance of doing that was subhash chandra bose and once subhash chandra bose was ousted and made irrelevant at that time in my opinion partition became inevitable apotheosizing people is not also great i don't believe in strong leaders that's micro fascism right i don't believe gandhi had all the answers or he was a saint or mr jinnah was perfect creation of pakistan and subsequently bangladesh as separate sovereign nations is a reality that has to be accepted there is going to be no akhand bharat yet as neighbors we have to live together and therefore what matters as much as the past is our duty towards the future